So my plan for today is to try and get um, some second plantings done here in the garden. Here, as though we have aphids on our okra, which is no good. So there's a few plants in the garden that have some pests on them. The okra, as you just saw in that video, has some aphids on it. Uh, that those ants are tending and I haven't seen any yet but I'm pretty sure we're gonna get some hornworms on the tomatoes at some point just because we get them every year the Swiss chard I haven't seen any bugs on the plants yet but I have seen some holes in the leaves like something's been eating them here and there it's not too bad and we do have a little bit more powdery mildew on our squash uh, specifically the zucchini and the summer squash the yellow squash that we have going Right now, I'm making a trip to Agway. We're gonna get some neem oil that we can mix with water and put in the garden sprayer. We really like using neem oil because it's an organic pesticide. It also acts as a fungicide. So it'll treat both the issues that we're having with some of the beetles and pests uh, that are eating the vegetables, and it'll also help with the powdery mildew that's on the squash plants. Oh. Pretty cool to see her with twins running around. We've got a bunch of the vegetables that are just about ready to, to be done producing for us. So we're ready for a second round. And um, I've got my little garden buddy here, Mr. Finn, to, to help me weed because he likes to, you know, eat the, eat the grass. And then we have Callie over here. Going to be replanting some lettuce. Uh, we've gotten really great harvest out of our romaine and our leaf lettuce. Um, we have some of this seed tape <clears throat> that we are going to try for more leaf lettuce. Um, we tried it on the beets and they're coming up just wonderfully. So hopefully we'll get the same results for more lettuce. I'm out here gardening and all I hear is constant groans and squeals from our lovely little pig friends. Oh my gosh, you guys. Peeing in their wallow. That sounds phenomenal. And then I have a piece of lettuce in my hands and the chicken gang is right here. Chickens? Or pigs, who gets the lettuce? We'll give it to the chickens. Everybody's a chatterbox today.
Our squash plant has been producing like crazy. However, our zucchini, it's coming along, but it definitely has struggled. We've had a lot of rotten ones. So we got a lot of new ones on there now. Hopefully we'll get some. Our peppers are coming along. We've got some flowers on there. Little teeny tiny string beans. Little tiny okras. This radish looks huge. And it is pretty big. We've got some good ones coming here. Here's another really big one. Nice. So one of the other really cool things about our property is that we have tons of wild blueberry bushes in the front yard, in the backyard. It's, it's really pretty cool and each year they do produce quite a bit for us. Some of them are way in the back and they're a little bit hard to get to, um, but we did figure out that there was one down here, um, a little ways down our driveway um, that's actually producing a ton. So we got to it before the deer and the birds did and put a, uh, a bird screen on it. And, um, and when I drove by this morning, um, I noticed that there was a ton of blueberries on it. And, um, and there is a ton of blueberries on this tree. So it looks like it's time to get a bowl and, uh, and start picking these because um, they are certainly ripe. So let's give them a try. Better than what you get in the store. I thought that was a pig. No. Because one of the pigs just got shocked oh. and it screamed really loud and I was like, oh my god. Yeah, we're gonna go pick blueberries. You wanna come? Jack just got home from the store, and so he's gonna join me in picking some of the blueberries off of that bush that I was just showing you guys. Probably blueberry muffins. I don't know how much this bowl is. Probably like a cup. cup. Maybe. I like a cup. Here's what we're fixing on the squash. This is called powdery mildew. The leaves are where it hits first, and you can see it actually shows up on the stalks as well in some spots. So we've actually got some squash that are ready to harvest. I'm gonna pull them before I spray the neem oil. That way it's just one less thing that's gone on there. Um, as of right now, even though neem oil is organic, we haven't treated that plant with anything all year. So if we can get totally pesticide free fruit off of it, that's what we'd like to do. So I've got about a gallon of water in here and then a couple tablespoons of the neem oil. We're going to pump it up and put it on the garden. Mm. 
Next, I'm gonna spray these ochre plants that you see over here. We don't have much of an issue, but there's a few aphids on one of them. I'd rather head that off at the pass than have the plants go super infested with aphids. Last thing I'm gonna spray is our Swiss chard. We haven't had an exact pest infestation on this, but I've seen a few leaves with marks in them that look like something's eating it here and there. So I'm gonna put the neem oil down on this just to keep it fresh and leafy. All right, now we're just gonna put a little bone meal at the base of this squash plant. All I'm hoping for with that is that some of the calcium makes it into the ground and that the plant beefs up its uh, cell structures a little bit. This is what something with blossom and rot will look like. You can see it was normal looking zucchini. And then over here, soft and squishy on the side where the flower was. That's it for today. Emma went to sleep a little bit ago, so we're gonna go inside and cook up that kale and some squash, along with some mahi-mahi that I was able to bring home from our trip to Florida earlier this year. As always, thanks for watching. Make sure that you subscribe and hit the like button. Bye.